The FBI is investigating an online manifesto that appears to show the racist views and intentions of the suspect, Dylan Roof. The website discovered over the weekend shows Roof in dozens of photos. It includes a lengthy statement criticizing blacks as, quote, inferior. Jeff Pegues is outside the Cannon Detention Center in North Charleston, where Roof is being head, held. Jeff, good morning. Well, good morning. Roof is in solitary confinement here behind me in a jail cell. And meanwhile, investigators are poring over this manifesto. It's a more than 2,400 word document, and there are photos with it. The manifesto was found on a website created in February, registered in the name of Dylan Roof. And the writings on it show the author's hatred for blacks, Hispanics, and Jews, calling blacks the group that is the biggest problem for Americans and saying segregation was not a bad thing. Dozens of photos show Roof with a firearm and in front of historical sites. It is unclear if Roof took the images with an automatic timer or had an accomplice. This photo shows Roof spitting on the American flag. Another shows him burning it. The manifesto says, I hate the sight of the American flag. Modern American patriotism is an absolute joke. According to weblogs, the manifesto was last modified just before 5 p.m. Wednesday, the day of the shootings. There is an urgency at the end of the document. No one doing anything but talking on the internet. Someone has to have the bravery, and I guess that has to be me. I am in a great hurry. What is your age? 21. Dylan Roof has been charged with nine counts of murder. All nine victims were shot multiple times. This story will be told best by three people, two adults and one child. The survivors. Yes. Charleston attorney Andy Savage is a family friend of shooting survivor Felicia Sanders, whose son Taiwanza was killed. Sanders told him she hid under a table with her granddaughter while Roof opened fire. He left, not knowing that Felicia, covered in blood, cover in her community's blood, were left behind. If he had known that they were alive, I'm sure they wouldn't be today. Investigators are working to authenticate the manifesto. It looks like the website servers are overseas, and that is complicating the issue. Gail? Thank you very much, Jeff.